Dance and movement is a huge part of the Lion King. It not only represents the cultural roots of the show's African story, but also the characters themselves. From the opening sequence of Circle of Life, the way that the characters move around each other is key to our understanding of the story. But how did the show's creators incorporate this? Well, I'm off to go and get changed so that we can find out. Whenever you watch The Lion King, you know that you're seeing people. But what gives you a sense that those are also animals is in the movement. It's been inspired by Indonesian and Balinese and Javanese movement. This beautiful form of movement used in Indonesia had a great fluidity and great strength about it. You have a, a 600 pound beast moving, but it still moves with great strength and, and beauty. I wanted to find out a bit more about how the show's creators took these styles of dance and movement and used them to help tell the story of The Lion King. So, with my tracksuit on, I went to meet the resident dance supervisor of the London production, Thea Barnes. Two, oh, Thea's in the studio five, working on a one, bit of choreography. Two, Let's go and take a look. Four, up and hot! Okay, we're gonna take a close look at Lioness Chant. It has the bit of African dancing in it, African Caribbean dance, has a bit of contemporary dance in it. Mm -hmm. So I'll give uh, Zara her counts in, and mm -hmm. this should show you a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, These different dance styles and performance styles using masks and puppets are all brought together, and that was Julie's idea. Her other idea was to bring on the choreographer Garth Fagan. Garth and Julie Taymor had this idea, this vision of what Lion King was to look like movement-wise. He choreographed or put together various movement metaphors that assist in each scene in telling the story. You have modern, you have ballet, you have hip hop, you have all different forms of dance in the piece. They really truly help tell the story. So they're all these different strains of understandings from all over the world, but they come down to make this one idea. So that's how dance is used in the show. But what about when the characters are just moving around on stage? How does the show's unique style of movement bring out the animal in them? It's taking a human type of, of movement and giving it animal traits. And so just a slight adjustment of the arms and the way that the actor moves will breathe life into their physicality. First off, if you look how she's holding the silk in her hand, yeah. right? And then she places it at a particular place on their hips, right? And then the back is a little almost, not quite parallel, but it gives the idea of the hunt this way. And then she has a focus. First, step back, go, and back and then go and back and go can you do one attitude jump for us you did she did the attitude jump just one two three four five six one one two three four five six one two three now in that jumping she not only has to use her classical ballet training to learn how to jump yeah. but the attitudes is the contemporary dance element added onto it and then on top of that she's got this emotion she has this focus she has to look like she's hunting so it's got not only this very practical technical level it also has this very very important metaphorical vision <laughs> I want to show you some dancing hyenas. Oh, great. Well, I was going to say, to be honest, Thea, I mean, I'm here in my tracks. I've got my trainers on. It'd be a waste not to try and have a go at OK, something. I'll let you see what they actually do first yeah? before you make okay. that decision. <laughs> the hyenas have one of the most demanding dance sequences in the entire show, with a huge range of fast and aggressive moves to master. So although I've had a bit of dance and gymnastics training in the past, I had a feeling I'd bitten off more than I could chew. Now, a hyena isn't a very nice character, but in Be Prepared, they actually rally behind Scar to support him in order for them to get what they want or need from the lions. One, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, one, and two. The dance that the dancers do expresses an idea, a metaphor about what's happening in that scene that helps to tell the story. People often think when you audition for a musical, oh, I can sing, I can dance, I can act. With our show, it really re requires an expertise in very specific things. So your leg is up, I hold it, I got it. And I'm doing that in the air? That's in the air. We need a very strong ballet boy. We need a very strong ballet girl. We have to have men who are able to tumble and, and be able to even have a great street sense of dance. You know, so you have all different shapes and sizes to create this, this group of dancers. Five, six, seven, hold! Look at you! All right! <laughs> you lose me at that. <laughs> Okay, so that was pretty good. That was pretty good. How you feel good 
about yourself, yeah, right? Yeah, I feel bad. I know. <laughs> <laughs> No, that was okay, lovely. Good. That was great. Good. Thank you so much. Honestly, I've right, thoroughly right. enjoyed it. It's been brilliant. <laughs> Look at the sweat. I've worked <laughs> up the sweat. Fantastic. Oh, okay. I'm off for a shower. Right. Cheers. Exactly. Okay. So we take the contemporary choreography of Garth, we marry that to different puppet and mask techniques from around the world, and that becomes the movement of the Lion King, whereby people represent animals as well as plants. And that's very dependent upon this precise movement that the actors do.